Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Teacher Max. I am Erwin and I am a Pinoy ALT under the JET program. I am currently on my first year here in Japan. I am part of the 2018 JETS. Yes! A shout out to my fellow 2018 JETS. I miss all of you! Ah. And shout out to all our senpais who have helped us in the application process last year. So just recently, the 2019 JET program application open and I know all of the details are available in the website but I feel like it would be beneficial for you to hear from someone who have experienced what you are about to experience. So okay ba? Pagpasensyahan nyo na din kung medyo na go, go ang boses ko dahil sinisipo na ang lolo nyo dahil napakalamig dito sa Japan. <laughs> okay, first time makaka-experience ng winter. <laughs> okay, so for today's vlog, let me give you some tips on how to apply in the JET program. Okay, so first, what is JET program? So JET stands for Japan Exchange and Teaching Program. It is a way for Japan to boost internationalization in its Japanese communities by providing employment opportunities to people like us in Japanese municipalities. And there are many organizations governing JET program. And one of the organizations you must know is CLARE or the Council of Local Authority for International Relations. Why? Because they are actually the ones who would identify successful applicants and later on, they will be assigning these applicants to a contracting organization which would be the employer. Okay. Now, the next question is, what kind of work, diba? What kind of work can we apply for in the JET program? So for Filipinos like us, we can apply for the position of an ALT or Assistant Language teacher okay so what do we really do here in japan as alts so i guess it is better that you watch my previous vlog <laughs> promote big you know? but i had a previous vlog that talks about a day in my life as an alt so if you have time please watch but basically as assistant language teachers we get to assist Okay, the Japanese teacher of English in conducting English classes. Then at the same time, we may be asked to prepare lessons or even prepare assessments and check them at the same time. Okay, so that's what we do as assistant language teachers here in Japan. Now the question is, is this for you? Okay, so you how so you, you now sorry you now have to make a big decision whether to apply in the JET program. But I suggest that you apply, especially if you have that Japanese dream in you. Okay. Now, there are many considerations. Okay. There are many factors to consider in applying. Siyempre, the genuine salary. Diba? So, how much are we earning here as ALTs? It's stated in the application guidelines that you are to earn 3.36 million yen. Whoa! Ang laki, di ba? <laughs> In a year. So, that's roughly 280,000 yen a month. So, if you are to convert it in pesos, so siguro nasa 130,000 pesos. Which is not bad, di ba? 130,000 pesos a month, ang laki nun. Di ba? Pero syempre, so 130,000 pesos will be deducted yung bills like electricity, water, gas, and then of course, other personal expenses that you might have like food, clothing, etc. Okay? So what, what I can tell you is that there's a big chance of you saving at least 50 to 70,000 pesos a month. O, oh, di ba? Hindi na masama. Depende yan, syempre, kung gano'n ka kagastos. <laughs> okay. Now, another consideration would be expenses, di ba? That's, that would be your second consideration. How much do I need for me to fly to Japan provided that uh, I become successful, di ba? In the application. So, I suggest that you prepare at least 30,000 pesos up. 
Okay? Of course, advice ka na mag-isip. Claim it na papasa ka. Di ba? <laughs> okay, so, ba- para saan yung 30,000 pesos? Siyempre, pag pumasa ka na, you will have to up to go to POEA to secure an employment cert- uh, an overseas employment certificate. Siyempre, may kasama yan medical. Di, siyempre, yung mga gamit na dadalhin mo dito sa Japan. Siyempre, bibili ka ng luggage. Siyempre, magbabaon ka rin ng Filipino food dahil mabibis mo yun. <laughs> diba? So, uh, siyempre, magdadala ka rin ng omiyage or yung souvenir for our fellow Japanese teachers here in Japan. Okay? So, I think it is safe for you to prepare at least 30,000 up. But, of course, diba? Nagbahal na ang mga bagay-bagay so please expect na it may be different for you. Now, siyempre, When you become successful also, you might be asked by your contracting organization to bring a certain amount of money. Bakit? Kasi syempre, you will arrive here uh, early August and then yung unang sweldo is like around August 20 or the third week or fourth week of August. So syempre, yung days na nandito ka, you need money to spend, di ba? In my case, I was asked to bring a certain amount of money which is a uh, 250,000 yen or that's 125,000 pesos but that was actually more than enough for me so here in Japan matututunan niyo yung term na ESID or every situation is different The pocket money that I brought is also different from the pocket money my fellow 2018 Jets brought last year. So, iba-iba. Merong medyo mahal, merong medyo mas mababa. Depende yan sa contracting organization ninyo. Okay? Now, another consideration, number three, would be, ah, oh, you have a family, di ba? May asawa ka, may anak ka. Can you bring your wife or your husband and your children to Japan? And the answer is yes, di ba? Ang ganda. So, the good thing is that when you bring them here, you can all, uh, there are also opportunities for them. Actually, here in my area, in Kyotago City, in Kyoto Prefecture, I have a fellow American jet who has his wife and his uh, son with him, okay? And actually, any opportunities that I mentioned earlier, your wife or your husband, okay, can actually work here part-time, o, di ba? So, dalawa kayo nag-earn. And then, at the same time, the same time yung anak mo, if it's, if, if the, your child is still studying, pwede rin siya mag-aral dito sa Japan. Kung kayo na bang mag-asawa ay both working na, pwede rin kayong dalawa ang mag-apply dito sa JET program, di ba? Hindi na masama. So, There is a way for you to be with your immediate family. Okay? Now, another consideration, number four, would be Nihongo. Ah, you don't speak Nihongo. Okay lang ba yun? And I think it is okay, but, okay, you have to start learning. Okay? Ako din, when I first applied last year, I was zero di Hongo. Okay? Ang alam ko lang yung mga naririnig-rinig ko sa anime. <laughs> okay? Pero syempre, habang, habang nasa proseso, you start learning. Why? Because it is important, okay, for you to survive here in Japan, to, uh, for, for you to survive here in Japan, it is important for you to learn their language. Di ba? So, It is stated also in the in the website, diba, that there might be a Nihongo conversation test. Okay, so you have to prepare for that. Okay, although last year, I think it was optional for us last year, cause when I was asked if I were to take a Nihongo test, uh, I said that I, I I would I wouldn't because I was not really prepared and uh, hindi hindi ganon kalak confidence ko with my Nihongo, so I said no. So I'm just not sure for for your batch if the Nihongo test would be required, okay? But I suggest that you start learning now, di ba? Whether you pass or not, it would be a good, di ba? Uh, addition to the languages you speak. And of course, number five or the fifth consideration would be since this is just a program hindi siya long term this is a short term diba so 
minimum of one year to a maximum of five years. But the beauty about JET program is that after you graduate from the program, they will help you. There's a there's there's what you call a, a JET alumni association. They will help you in seeking work, okay, or professional employment after the program. Okay, so maganda siya, and I think. Being in the JET program would open doors for you, di ba? For a brighter future, di ba? Oh, moga. <laughs> okay, now, let's go to the application timeline. Ito yung pinaka-importante. So, punta na tayo sa beat ng vlog na to. So, I have my laptop with me. It's open. So, the timeline says that since the application has opened, your basic role now, or let me rephrase that your basic task now is to complete all the requirements and you have to submit all of these requirements by January 7, 2019 okay then after January 20, uh, January 7, 2019 there will be the first stage of screening process then by February what do you call this? uh by February will be the second stage of screening process. There will be already the interview, the demo, and the English exam. So you have to be ready for that. And then by by March, they will announce if you successfully pass the second stage. Then by May, you will know if you already have a placement. Speaking of placement, parent bag placement fee. Wala pong placement fee. So hindi mo yan kailangan alalahanin. <laughs> so, ngayon, for now, ang focus lang natin is the application process. Okay, so let's talk about the application procedure. It is stated in the website, di ba, that they are going to look for your ability to follow guidelines and instructions. Okay, so it is very important. They are very particular with it. So, make sure to strictly follow the instructions okay in the application now i have here the list let's have a quick rundown of the documents you need to prepare so definitely one the application form which can be downloaded in the website second would be the jet program applicant self-report of medical condition which will be download can be downloaded Third is your certified record or transcript, okay? It must cover all college, university courses, di ba? So, mag-apply ka na ng TOR mo and make sure to have more than one copy kasi syempre, these documents that you will submit will not be returned to you. And the number four, which is very important, is the essay or the statement of purpose, which we will discuss further later. Then fifth is your certificate of graduation, Sixth would be sixth rather would be your letters of reference. So find someone who would really be a good person to recommend you, diba? So I suggest you look for someone like a supervisor, diba? Your former principal, your former uh, critic teacher, diba? Your former boss. So anyone who you think could best, let's say, sell, okay, and share. Diba? Your strengths. And then, seventh is that if you have your proficiency, language proficiency, proficiency qualifications, like uh, TOEFL, TESOL, JLPT, if you have that, okay. Pero kung wala naman, katulad ko, wala ako doon, diba? So, it's just okay. And then, a document that shows your nationality. I guess the passport would be, would be the best document for this. And the number nine is criminal record or NBI clearance would be enough for this. But of course, hopefully, you do not have any criminal uh, history. Diba? Okay. So now, let's just go over the application form. I printed. Ayan, oh. I printed the application form. Let's go at each page one by one. So, unang, kailangan mo tandaan. Ito, nakalagay. Diba? Oh, kita ba? Do not staple. Okay? Kasi baka mamaya ito pa ang maging dahilan kung ba't hindi ka pumasa kasi in-stapler mo. <laughs> so, lahat ng mga stapler sa bahay mo, sa school mo, ilayo mo sa'yo. Okay? <laughs> okay, so do not staple and please make sure to read the instructions. One important thing is always look at the chart kasi merong mga codes, di ba, kung saan ilalagay 
mo yung interview location, yung nationality. So, please take note of the codes. Okay? And then, syempre, it says here, type if possible. Okay? Syempre, piliin mo na yung pinakasimple at madaling mabasang font style. Diba? Wala naman nakalagay dito na kung anong font style dapat. Pero, syempre, wag na yung maarte. wag na with digs. Hindi natin maintindihan. <laughs> Okay, and then syempre, yung, uh, it says here, your, the year should be written using the Anno Domini system or more popularly known as after death, diba? So, AD. So, I'm sure you know about it. And then, so, for the first page, you just put your name, your sex, your date of birth, then your nationality, which you, wherein you would put the codes. Okay, second page tayo. It says, uh, you have to write your home state, your hometown, your present address, then, syempre, when you put your contact numbers, I suggest you include the area code and the country code. Okay, so, so 63, di ba yung uh, positive sign, 632, and then pag cell phone, positive sign, 63907, etc. Di ba? And then, uh, your current occupation, if you are still working, and of course, uh, what you finished, bachelor's degree ba, master's degree, and then your academic specialization you have to check the code the code again and then for third page na tayo for academic record you have your tertiary secondary and elementary so i suggest you start with the latest so kung nag masters ka or doctorate ka you highlight that first so doctorate masters then bachelors then secondary then elementary and then your employment history of course you start with the most recent Diba? So, please make sure to fill out the job description properly as it may help okay, the assessor in trying to gauge diba, ano yung mga roles and responsibilities that you have played in your previous works. Okay? And then, sa fourth page tayo, meron dito teaching background. Diba? So, if you are a teacher like me, so highlight Okay, the things that you have done as a teacher. So, for example, sa planning, sa description, you say you're planning, preparing, delivering lessons, diba? And then, you do coach or mentor, diba? Students or even fellow teachers. Whether you have, or siguro, naging profe, uh, personal formation tutor ka, naging moderator ka of a certain club, uh, club then uh, you can you can put it there diba? and then teacher training it is very important in my case last year i was actually as uh, a speaker in most of the training so i just placed here that i i am the one providing the training but in your case you may include here single relevant teacher training workshops or seminars that you have attended okay then fifth page tayo japanese related studies uh, if you have and the japanese language proficiency if you are already good in the hongo that's good for you and then for number 17 international or intercultural experience which i think is very important so hopefully meron ka mailalagay dito diba so for i for myself i just said that i hosted some foreign uh, rotor actors which was my organization before and then at the same time i had a cultural online exchange okay with uh, people from Russia, Cyprus, Brazil, and Egypt. So, kung meron kang ganitong magandang cultural exchange experience, better put it here. And then, syempre, other activities, di ba? Honors, awards, scholarships. So, ito na yung bala mo. Ilagay mo na lahat, di ba? Pero, syempre, you have to make sure naman that what you put here would be relevant, okay, in your role as a future assistant language teacher. So, kung nadalo ka, di ba, na binibili Red Bull, <laughs> <laughs> so, hindi na natin yung kailangan ilagay, di ba? Or Mr. Macho Guapito. Ayan. So, hindi natin yung ilalagay, di ba? So, those which are relevant, okay, to the work. And then, uh, seventh page tayo. Ito yung, I think, uh, isa to sa pinaka-important, di ba, is yung assignment preference, okay? Where do you want to be assigned? Although, of course, there is no guarantee na yung ilalagay mong top three choices, eh, doon ka pa pupunta. Pero, syempre, di ba, I believe they will consider. And fortunately for me, my second choice, which is Kyoto Prefecture, okay, dito naman ako napunta. So, you have now to research 
a little about the prefecture or the area where you want to be assigned to. Kasi syempre, you have to provide reasons. Bakit gusto mo doon ma-assign, di ba? And then, please take note sa chart. Makikita nyo, for example, iba yung city, iba yung prefecture. So, for example, ako, kahit, Pyo, kahit Kyoto siya, since I placed Kyoto Prefecture, hindi ako sa city. Kasi iba pa yung Kyoto City. So, they have a separate a group of ALTs in Kyoto City. Iba naman yung sa buong Kyoto Prefecture. So, ikaw mag-decide kung gusto mo sa city ka ba or sa country side. Okay? And then... What do you call this? So that is an eight page. Ay, basically, where did you hear about the jet program? Okay, I think I missed something. I think it is important. You guys a page. Okay, page four. You proposed direction of career and its relation to the jet program. Okay, so why? It is important for you to write here. Okay, moving forward, what will happen to you? Where do you see yourself? after the jet program and how does it relate to it okay so yeah where is your direction okay while in the jet program and after the jet program diba? so i think in my case i i play i, I remember writing that uh, i am going to pursue a uh, master's degree with specialization of teaching english as a second language okay so i think that's what i wrote before so yun yung pinaka important and then, syempre, so that's the application form. Now, syempre, doon tayo sa essay. I think dito talaga magkakalo-talo. <laughs> so, it is very important, just like what my fellow jet Sir Robert, hi Sir Robert, said, you have to give a powerful SOP or statement of purpose. Okay? So, that's your essay. And you have to fa strictly follow the guidelines. Ha? It says, I think, two pages lang. So, don't go beyond two pages. No. So, what is very important with the essay is that one, you have to highlight your qualifications and how these qualifications become your strengths, okay, in being an ALT. Pero more than your qualifications, I personally feel that you could highlight, what you could highlight more would be what you can offer to the JET program. Diba? Ano yung benefit na makukuha ng JET program pag hinire ka nila bilang isang ALT. So, that's what you need to think about. Then also, at the same time, when you write your essay, please make sure to just use uh, very simple and direct English. Hindi naman kailangan ng highfalutin words. Kasi it is very much possible that Jap there would be Japanese people who would read your essay and I think they would appreciate a very concise, direct essay. Diba? So, simple, pero rock. <laughs> diba? Simple, pero may dating. Diba? May power. So, that's the kind of essay. Na, diba? Kasi remember, you will, they will shortlist you guys just by these documents alone. And the statement of purpose would be your edge, I think, over the other applicants. So, you have to make sure to prepare for that well. So, again, highlight your qualifications. But more than that, also, show, okay, a right, that show, right, in the essay, what you can offer in the JET program. And why you love Japan, what's your, why do you have this passion for teaching, diba? Okay. Now, besides the other... Uh, besides the application form, besides the statement of purpose, syempre, you have your medical, di ba? So, I printed this one, the certificate of health. So, basically, ito naman, you can just bring this form to any medical clinic, di ba? Sabihin mo lang na you're, up, you're currently applying. So, just have to tell the doctor, di ba, to fill this out. So, siya lang magsasabi kung ano yung mga tests na kailangan mong gawin. Then, after that, Okay, ready, ready to submit ka na. But I personally suggest that if you could already do this in a POEA accredited uh, medical clinic, para later on, di ba, if you become successful in applying, you can just actually review the certificate of health with them. Kasi pwede, pwede naman yun na i-renew nila kasi merong validity naman yung test results, di ba? So, hopefully, by the time you become successful and you will be asked for another health certificate, your results are still are still valid, di ba? So, i-renew lang siya ng, ng 
physician mo. And syempre, don't forget, if you have undergone a very serious illness, the statement of physician, okay, just to assure a uh, jet program that you are eligible to work. And there's, of course, your self-report on medical. Uh, self-report on medical condition if you are actually if you are currently undergoing a medical any, any medical condition I for example diba, uh, meron akong hypertension stage 1 but it was maintained so uh, kahit, kahit na maintain ko na yung low blood pressure I still declared it in the uh, uh, self-report on medication okay so these are some of the tips that I can give you. But the best tip that I can actually give you is to pray. Okay? Trust. Trust the Lord above. If it is His will, if it is His will, it will be done. Okay? So, of course, it is important that you submit these documents early. Mas maganda, di ba? So, remember, you will have to submit it in the Japan Information and Culture Center in the Embassy of Japan in the Philippines. Madali lang naman siya hanapin. So, it's either you go there in person or you have to submit it via courier. Last year, pina-air 21 ko lang yung mga documents ko. But, syempre, kung hindi ka kampati at gusto mo talaga ma-make sure na ma-receive talaga ng embassy ang iyong application, then just have the time no, to go in, uh, personally in the, in the embassy. Okay? So, just take note, di ba? The screening process. There's a teaching demo, a Nihongo conversation test, and an English exam. Okay? So, don't forget again that by January, tw by January 7, 2019, you have, you should have submitted your documents. And after that, pag the shortlist na kayo, let's see each other again in another vlog to guide, to let me guide you again in the next stages. Okay? Of the application process here in the JET program. So, ang dami ko lang sinabi, I hope that everything that I have shared with you today uh, have been very useful. Okay? And please comment down below if you have any other questions. I would be more than willing to answer your queries about the JET program. So, ano pang hinihintay mo? Apply na! At magkita-kita tayo dito sa Japan next year. Okay? So, Domo arigato gozaibas. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagpapanood ng aking vlog. If you feel like, please like, share, okay? And subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Once again, this is Teacher Max or Erwin saying Konnichiwa. Go Pinoy! Pinoy represent in the JET program. Mabuhay!